Hello and welcome to my friend Salsa Spearfish. And what's any salsa without that head badge, or that unique face plate on the stem? Some of my favorite bits of any salsa. The cockpit's made up of Bontrager race light carbon bars, foam grips, and something I'm seeing more commonly, Shimano XT brakes but a SRAM XX1 drivetrain. Down the 100mm Fox 32 fork, you'll find 160mm brakes, that is going to be for both front and rear. And you'll notice my friend switched out the original wheels that came with this bike, and he chooses to run what he likes, which is a DT Swiss 350 hub, laced to a Stan's No Tubes ZTR crest. In the rear, Fox is taking care of the suspension again. And here is the SRAM XX1 drivetrain you get to see. And I just wanted to take a closer look at the split pivot suspension design. Uh, it's quite unique. I don't see a lot of other suspension designs quite like that. Supposedly, this split pivot design is supposed to be very good at reducing pedal bob. However, I'm just going to have to take other people's word for it because I haven't ridden enough... Uh, full suspension bikes but you really be able to pick the difference out. I just know I feel a little bit because I always ride a hardtail. Now a cool thing they added on the down tube is some padding for any uh, rocks or any debris you kick up which is also carried through on the chain stay you saw earlier. Now kit wise it's just finished off with a setback Thompson seat post and WTB saddle. Overall I think this is a very sweet bike and I absolutely love the Robin's Egg Blue. Unfortunately, my friend did end up choosing to return it. If you did see on the top tube, he did make a pretty sweet gouge in the paint from a crash he did. Just to play it safe, he got a new one.